You have heard of boiling the frog. This is boiling the sheeple. Over 100,000 restaurants have closed this year due to lockdowns, but not a penny for them in the, the stimulus bill. For the Fortune 500 companies, however, the pandemic has translated into a windfall. Between April and September, at a time when thousands of small business were quietly getting crushed underfoot, 45 of the 50 most valuable publicly traded American companies turned a profit, according to the Washington Post. The writing has been on the wall long before 2020. Since creating the creature from Jekyll Island our country was done. Americans eat processed food by the bucket load, morbidly obese, the literacy rate is so poor for a country of such status, 27th in the world for IQ averages and tax to the hilt. With so many borderline retarded humans, many with guns, no wonder our country is in the state it's in. Nobody pushes trades in school it's all college, college, college. Our country is rotten from within, so rotten it's beyond repair. 2020 is the year many people were so afraid of dying they decided to quit living. They allowed irrational fear and gas lighting to take control of their minds and their lives to the detriment of their children, their children's children and the country. By summer, every state that has caved to the demand for lockdowns and mandates is going to be hitting the wall in terms of finances. Tax receipts are down by billions. Credit is going to cost no matter what the Fed tries to do to interest rates. If the rate itself is low, then, finders fees, of some kind will be necessary to get any credit at all. Every Democrat-controlled state in the country is going to crash and burn. Pensions will be protected, current employees will be laid off, and roads will stop being repaired. There are going to be a lot of potholes on the interstates, let alone the inner cities. The vast mass of people who can't get worked up over wearing a stupid mask, will find their voices when the roads are impassable, homes can't be bought or sold, and their own wives and daughters who had good jobs are out of work. This has been a horrible year for good but naive people who assume that others are rational, independent-minded, morally courageous individuals. The truth is that most people think about very little each day except themselves and their own problems. They don't really care about history, or autonomy, or abstractions that don't affect their very narrow, very self-centered world. If they're told to wear a mask and walk backwards forever, they'll do it. The truth of this is going to drive a lot of people insane as they come to realize just how few human beings can think for themselves. It blows up your entire conception of the universe. 2020 has been a year that none of us will ever forget. We experienced the worst global pandemic in 100 years, we witnessed the worst economic downturn since the Great Depression of the 1930s, civil unrest erupted in major cities all over America, and we had one of the wildest presidential elections in our history. Other than that, it was a pretty quiet year. For a few moments, let's take one more look back at the past 12 months. The following are 20 numbers from 2020 that are almost too crazy to believe. Number 1 When 2020 began, nobody had ever heard of COVID-19, because that term had not even been invented yet. But by the end of the year, there had been more than 83 million confirmed cases around the globe and more than 1.8 million deaths. Here in the United States, there have been more than 20 million confirmed cases so far and more than 350,000 deaths according to the official numbers. Of course nobody is sure if we can trust the official numbers or not, because just recently a politician in Austria showed that a cup of Coca-Cola can test positive for COVID-19. Number 2 All of the masks that we have been wearing and discarding during this pandemic have taken a heavy toll on the environment. According to one study, more than 1.5 billion with a B. masks will be dumped into the oceans of the world this year alone. Number 3 The lockdowns that our politicians instituted to control the spread of COVID-19 resulted in an unemployment shock that was absolutely unprecedented. Since the beginning of the pandemic, there have been more than 70 million new claims for unemployment benefits. That means that we have been averaging well over a million new claims per week since the first lockdowns went into effect. To put that into perspective, the old all-time record for a single week was just 695,000 and that was set all the way back in 1982. During this pandemic, we have been above that old record every single week, and now unemployment claims are starting to rise higher once again. Number 4 Almost 4 out of every 10 Americans do not plan to get a COVID-19 vaccine, but the federal government is going to spend $250 million on an information campaign that is designed to convince them otherwise. 
Number 5 The civil unrest that erupted all over America following the death of George Floyd ultimately sparked a crime wave that seems as if it will never end. According to an analysis of data from 57 big city police departments, the number of murders in those cities is up 36.7% compared to last year. In quite a few of those cities, new all-time records are being established in 2020, and many Americans are anticipating even more violence in 2021. Number 6 Recent data from Moody's Analytics indicates that approximately 12 million U.S. renters are now, at least $5,850 behind in rent and utilities payments. Landlords all over the nation are in financial distress because of unpaid rent, and we could potentially see the greatest tsunami of evictions in all of U.S. history if and when all of the rent moratoriums are finally lifted in 2021. Number 7 In 2020 we witnessed massively long lines at food banks all across America. In some cases, people were lining up as early as 2 a.m. in order to make sure that they would get something before the supplies were gone. Feeding America runs the largest network of food banks in the entire nation, and they were estimating that approximately one out of every four children in the U.S. would suffer from hunger by the time that 2020 was finally done. Number 8 We haven't seen an economic downturn this severe since the Great Depression of the 1930s, and the middle class has been hit particularly hard. According to one recent survey, 2020 was a personal financial disaster for 55% of all Americans. Number 9 But 2020 hasn't been a financial disaster for everyone. In fact, Forbes recently published an article which celebrated 50 doctors, scientists and healthcare entrepreneurs that become pandemic billionaires in 2020. Number 10 The US government continues to waste money in some of the most crazy ways imaginable. I know that I shared this the other day, but I just had to include it in this article as well. According to US Senator Rand Paul, the federal government has spent $6.9 million to develop a smart toilet, which uses a very small camera to identify your anal print. Number 11 One of the reasons why so much crazy spending happens is because our politicians don't actually read the bills that they pass. For example, the spending bill that the House of Representatives recently passed was 5,593 pages long, and members of the House were only given a few hours to look it over. Unsurprisingly, the bill passed the House by a vote of 359 to 53. Number 12 When Barack Obama first entered the White House, the U.S. was $10.6 trillion in debt. Now we are $27.5 trillion in debt, and soon that total will hit the $30 trillion mark. Needless to say, this is a recipe for national financial suicide. Number 13 The decline of the U.S. family continued to accelerate in 2020. According to a recent Gallup survey, only 29% of Americans believe that it is very important for couples who have children together to be married. Number 14 Americans have continued to get even bigger in 2020 as well. At this point, 73% of the entire U.S. population is either overweight or obese. Number 15 The amount of control that the big tech companies have over our lives has gotten more than just a little bit frightening, but most Americans don't seem to mind. In fact, one recent survey found that two out of every three Americans do not care if their smart devices are recording what they say and do at all times. Number 16 But if anyone tried to take our smart devices away, then most of us would suddenly become very angry. Another recent survey found that the average person will spend a total of 44 years looking at digital devices during their lifetimes. Number 17 The recent presidential election has deeply divided our nation. 96% of Democrats believe that Joe Biden was elected fairly, but only 20% of Republicans feel the same way. Number 18 Joe Biden only 16 won and 70 Jayon percent of all counties in the United States. That was a new record low for a winning candidate, beating the previous record low of 22% which Barack Obama established in 2012. Number 19 But Joe Biden also somehow won the most overall votes in U.S. history by a very wide margin. He received more than 81 million votes, which was about 12 million more votes than Barack Obama got in 2008 when he set the old record. Number 20 On December 14, the Electoral College voted to make Joe Biden the next President of the United States. Amazingly, that date is precisely halfway between the Great American Eclipse of 2017 and the Great American Eclipse of 2024. 
If you plot the paths of those two eclipses on a map of the United States, you will see that they combined to form a giant X across the heartland of America. 2020 was the year we lost what it meant to be human. Or the year we believed everything we weren't told. At the end of 2021 we will be saying, the year we stopped being human. This was the Nomad Economist. Please like, share, leave me a comment, subscribe, and please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels, I do upload videos there too. You'll find the links in the description box. You will also find a PayPal link if you want to make a donation. Thank you wholeheartedly to all those of you who have already donated. Stay safe and healthy friends.